Hey guys, it's Fantasia and welcome to another creatism. So this one is actually a collab with Diamond Rains. She is amazing. Go and check out her channel. I'm going to have it linked down below. She does a lot of Sims and Roblox right now. So I think you guys would really like it. And her, I saw her thumbnail for the collab we're doing and her Sim looks adorable. I have not seen the two little ones yet. So I don't know what they look like, but I'm super excited to find out. So we are doing a single mom with twins pretty much. And this was a lot of fun. I had so much fun with this. I am actually kind of obsessed with these characters and I kind of want to play with them. I don't know if I play with them off camera or do like a future let's play. I don't know. You guys can comment down below what you would like to see me use these sims for if you do want to see them on my channel in the future. I really don't know if I would use them on my channel or not, but I'm kind of just obsessed with them. So let me know after you watch this video what you, you what you're kind of feeling about these sims and everything like that, but they are just, oh, they're like the cutest little family I cannot. So I made, of course, a single mom and then there's two twin toddlers. There's a little boy and a little girl and I'm going to tell you guys about them and everything like that. But first, more about Diamond Reigns. So she is literally the sweetest ever, you guys. She's so sweet to me. She has been just the nicest friend. You guys need to go give her love because she truly does deserve it and I feel like we need to give more love to smaller channels. Let's go and do that. Like literally this year, 2021, let's go and give some more love to smaller channels because they deserve all the love in the world. I feel like they work so, so hard. They're out here hustling so much because nowadays it's so much harder to grow your channel. And yeah, I just feel like, you know, just there's so many channels out there deserve, that deserve all the love. So just go and give Diamond Rains all the love and support. She will literally appreciate it so much. And she's just super sweet. And I know she works so hard on her videos. So she just deserves it times 1 million. So on to my Sims. I'm really excited. Oh, actually first, let's do our notification shout out before we run out of time since this is a voiceover. <laughs> so this one goes to get well soon. Thank you so much for your comment. I appreciate you so, so much. And literally, I agree. Let's talk about this for a minute. So Sims 3 and Sims 2 gameplay in The Sims 4 would make The Sims 4 absolutely incredible because I love build mode in The Sims 4 and I love the graphics. I love create a sim and everything like that. So I, I just feel like if it had the gameplay that The Sims 3 and The Sims 2 had, especially The Sims 2, it would be like the ultimate Sims game. So I totally agree. Thank you so much for your comment. And if you guys want a chance to be in a notification shout out, all you gotta do is comment down below. So on to my Sims. I'm really excited to talk about them. So basically we have the mother. Her name is Jessie. And we have the first toddler that I make is Landon, which is a little boy. And then I make the little girl last, which is Amy. And they're identical twins. They look exactly the same. And I love them to pieces. They are just so cute. I love their little styles. And oh, by the way, you guys, when I create the toddlers, you guys are going to notice that. So I'm using alpha now and I need more hairs for toddlers. So luckily I had just enough. So pretty much I have a lot of textured hairs for the toddlers right now. And then I totally forgot to get other hairs. <laughs> like, like I was like, oh, I totally forgot. Like what the heck? So there was, I was like, I don't know what hairs to give them that would actually be the hairs that they should have like their mother. And I was like, okay, we got literally one hair for the males and one hair for the females that actually would fit them. So I just went with those, but luckily it actually looks so cute on them. Both their hairs ended up being freaking adorable. But anyways, so the mother, her traits are family oriented, foodie and romantic, and her aspiration is super parent. And then also for the toddlers, Landon is wild. And then Amy is a charmer. So she's got, she's got her hands full. Jessie has her hands full for sure. I feel like they're very different toddlers. One of them's crazy and the other one just wants to love all the time. So yeah, it's kind of like total opposites. So Jessie, like, I said she's family oriented and she just wants to be like the best mom she can be she that's just what she wants in life she wants to give her kiddos everything that she can and she's a foodie which I'm gonna get into why she just loves food she loves cooking so we're gonna talk more about that and then she is romantic so she really wants to just find her true love but she's kind of afraid if that's ever gonna happen because she kind of already did have her true love and this leads me to their story so basically Jessie is a single mom of twins 
of course. And she wants to raise her kids the best she can, as I already said. And her their father actually passed away due to the illness that comes with life tragedies. So with the life tragedies mod by Sacrificial, there is an illness where it's like you can go to the hospital and potentially get cured or you will not get cured and then your sim will pass away in a number of days. So that is how the father passed away. And he passed away when the toddlers were newborns and it was really sad and just like literally just Jesse is trying her hardest to kind of cope with that and you know be a good mom while she's going through that and everything. It's been a little while now because the twins are toddlers and it happened when they were newborns but it's still really hard for Jesse and um it's just it's just difficult you know she's raising these twins on her own and she felt like the father was her true love her forever and now she feels like you know is she ever gonna find that again so she's not really sure and honestly I mean she's a romantic but at the same time she's kind of like she's kind of just not looking for anyone because she's still kind of grieving and she's just been single, not dating or anything like that. And basically, um, she wants to be a chef. So right now she has no idea how to manage kind of, you know, taking care of these two twins, being like a full-time mommy and just her days are always jam-packed. And so currently she does not have a career and she does have quite a bit of money from the father passing. So luckily she's all right, but her dream is to be a chef. She loves cooking. She cooks all day long. Like anytime she has, that's what she's doing. She's always cooking and she makes like her toddlers the best meals ever. And she's just trying to get better and better and better at it. When her toddlers are of the age where they can Start going to school. Her dream is to just become a chef. She wants to get into the culinary career. That's her plan. So in the meantime, while her, while her twins are toddlers, she is just cooking all the time, trying to just get the best she can so that when she joins the culinary career, she will kind of advance in that really quickly. So that's her plan. And I'm really, really excited um, for her. And that's kind of why like I really want to play with her because I just feel like her story would be so fun. So yeah, that's just what she's trying to just work towards. Um, she just wants to be as a well prepared as she can to be a chef and get into that. So that is the little story to these Sims and I just... I love them. I keep saying that. I keep repeating myself. But like, how can you not? <laughs> how can you not? So like I said, uh, you know, after you guys see the whole process of these Sims, now you guys have heard the story, let me know like how you think I should use these Sims. So I might just end up playing them on my own. I do play the Sims a lot on my laptop in my spare time now. I do. I did get a gaming laptop like a couple months ago and um, it, I just play the Sims more now off camera because I don't really like sitting at my desktop all day long when like I already am like working, making videos, editing and stuff like that. I would rather, you know, get off my desktop and like chill in my spare time off of my desktop. <laughs> so having a laptop has been really, really great to play Sims on my own. And I don't know if I want to play them on my own or like have these Sims in a future series. I don't know. Lately, I am really inspired to have like a new Let's Play that is not like you know, not like an expansion based pack or anything like that. Just like one where it's completely story based, you know, those are my favorite type of let's plays to do like modded, for example, just love. And like, I've had so many story based let's plays that I'm so attached to that I keep going with so long, like 16 and pregnant. I had, then I had teen mom, <laughs> then I had, um, single mom life, single dad life. Like I've just had so many story based let's plays that are so just deeply story driven and I really want to have another series like that but like obviously I don't like to have too many let's plays and I do have a sims 2 let's play coming so I don't like to start a bunch of things all at once and then I'm like overwhelmed so I, I won't be starting anything right now but I am curious if you guys would be interested in seeing these sims on my channel in the future I don't know when but just like sometime this year I guess um because that would be a really really fun time so I think that's pretty much all I have to talk about with the sims as I I've mentioned like I'm using alpha now. So pretty much everything on them is alpha and it makes me really, really inspired. I'm not going to lie. So like I love Maxis Match and alpha, but I will say when it comes to me actually creating Sims, I think that's when I prefer alpha. So like when I just like have, you know, Sims that, you know, like 
are already like from the gallery or something like that. Like, you know, a max match is totally fine. But when I'm like making my own Sims, something about it, you guys, with the alpha, like I get so attached to them. I want to play with them. I like go all out with their appearance. Like, I don't know. Like I take so much longer on them and I already took forever making my Sims beforehand. And now I just take like double the time. So yeah, I'm just like having so much fun. I made, I made another Sim recently that I've been playing off camera and I'm like obsessed with her. I'm like so attached. Um, so yeah, just really loving alpha when it comes to making Sims and feeling that attachment to them. For some reason, it helps me feel attached to Sims, which sometimes in The Sims 4, it can be hard to feel that. So that's a really good thing. <laughs> so anyways, you guys, um, we're coming to the end of the video shortly. So like I said, go and give Diamond Reigns some love. I'm going to have her channel linked down below as well as her, as her video, of course. So go and check out her video and give her love on her video. Comment down below on her video. I keep saying on her video, on her video, on her video. Oh my gosh. <laughs> but yeah, just go over to her video. I'm sure her sims are adorable. Like I said, I already saw the mother and she's so pretty and I'm sure the kiddos are going to be absolutely adorable. So yes, head over to her channel. She deserves it. And with that said, you guys, I think I'm going to wrap up this voice over here. Um, there's a couple pictures at the end and the pictures were a lot of fun to take because they're absolutely just the cutest little things ever. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are all having an amazing, amazing day. And don't forget to leave some positivity down below. I love you guys also so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Video. Bye guys! I had a feeling you'd come back and save me From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to, why don't we go back to Never wanted to end You gotta listen up, listen up There's not a thing that I can get from you Boy, I don't need that much, need that much